wow. I have me a mango lime fizz from Sonic. I have pulled weeds and pulled weeds. First, I walked a while this morning and it was so cool, 60 degrees, but the wind was mega wind. So I went home and I worked at the yard. And I just went to Sonic to get me a half price mango lime fizz. It's awesome. Then I have to go back and start doing laundry. But my little oasis in the front that has uh, bushes and flowers that got overgrown early spring when I was recovering from my toe surgery. I've been going at like gangbusters today. I did, when I went to get a few groceries, get some heavy duty 20 year fabric for weeds, guaranteed. And I will have to get mulch and cover over that. And 20 years from now, I hope I'm not here. <laughs> I hope the rapture has even happened or I'm with the Lord <laughs> and my mother. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> really, it's a beautiful day out here in the park. And I'm not inside the park with all the kids running around. I'm in the parking lot behind the police facility and the fire department. And it's beautiful. Drinking my drink. Uh, this morning when I was out, there was a hound dog right near here that the police had stopped their car and had the blue lights on. We're chasing. So I got into the chase. I went about three blocks from here. I saw it cut through behind the East Ridge Baptist Church in a house. So I zoomed on over to through the church parking lot. There the dog was. I parked my car. I sat down on the ground and I talked to baby talk to it. I didn't have any food. I didn't have anything to offer it. And it took off running towards the interstate, actually. The police came swooping in and thanked me for my help, and I said, thank you. He was like, I can't chase dogs all day. I have other jobs. I said, I know, thank you. Because it was awesome what he was doing. Um, he helped me before when uh, there was a dog in the middle of the street that I thought was still alive. It wasn't, it was dead, but it was just, that moment had died. Somebody hit it and left it. He was one of the ones I was crying and crying. I was coming over here to where I walked that day. I never made it. Or maybe I was headed to the BX. It was Saturday and I never made it. I was a basket case. The dog looked alive. This big beautiful dog. And so I stopped to try to help it and it was dead. So they blocked the road wouldn't let anybody run over it again till animal control got there to pick it up. This was one of the same guys. A dog lover, no doubt. <laughs> he was, because he had it said he had children and several dogs. But anyway, I thank him. I appreciate that. But I can't believe that dog was so fast. It's a hound dog, had on a big leather collar. Got out from somebody's backyard, I think. Which was kind of funny while I was out working on the yard, their realtors were showing a house across the street. And Gabe and Shiloh kept going out the docky door of the backyard, bark, 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 wanting to be with mommy, bark, bark, bark. Well, when I went in, put my stuff up, opened the door to go back out, Gabe pushed right past me and ran out the door. Anyway, a little turkey ran around for about 20 minutes. And I was saying, supper, supper. 
So he was across this little area that has a little creek and it's rained so it had water. He was on the other side of it and he couldn't get across because he didn't want to get his red little t-shirt wet. So he kept trying to get under the fenced-in backyard of the house that he was at and he couldn't do it. He's done that before but they repaired that place. So anyway, it's hilarious. I had to run to this probably four foot wide filled with puddle like drainage ditch. And when I got near it, I thought I was gonna have to wade through it to get him. But he ran through it with his little short legs. Got his little red t-shirt soaking wet. But anyway, my day has been a hoot. When I finish walking here and get my couple of miles in, I'll go home and start <laughs> washing clothes and love on my babies. I love them. <laughs> Both of them, my doxy baby. But that guy, he's a character, and he'll be 12 on June the 3rd. And I can't imagine life without that doll. I cannot. I won't even think about it. He has filled such a hole in my heart since my mother passed away in 2000. I waited a while to get a pup. I hadn't had a pup for a while while I was raising my kids because they're expensive. And I take care of them like babies. And I've got two. And when I travel, they go to the vet hospital to kennel. And that's expensive. But they're worth it. Thank God for them. Bye.